Another year has gone by and the world is yet again completely different than it was one year ago today. And e-commerce has changed, the internet business landscape has changed, all of entrepreneurship continues to change at record paces. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a few markets that I love if you're starting a new business or looking to expand into a new area in 2022, because every time the world changes, there's new opportunities that are created. Before I share these markets with you, I wanna give you a little bit of a lay of the landscape of where we are right now, because the world has kind of moved on to new opportunities. The conversation in the last year has gone to crypto and DeFi and DAOs and the metaverse. There's very little conversation about selling stuff. It's, it kind of reminds me of my generation looking back at HVAC businesses or looking back at starting an ice cream shop or a restaurant. There's, there's just not a whole lot of my peers that are like, when I grow up, like I wanna open a restaurant. It's like, I wanna sell stuff online or I wanna be an entrepreneur and I wanna travel. And my kids will say things like, I wanna be on YouTube or I wanna start my own crypto, right? I wanna, I wanna have Moran coin. Sounds like moron, doesn't it, dad? So all that to say, I find it very interesting that there's less competitors now entering into e-commerce or even what a lot of people consider old school internet marketing. You see the new money and the new attention going elsewhere, which means that we have kind of a new white space. And it's also interesting that Amazon is now cracking down on cheaters and the people who used to do really well on Amazon a few years ago are having to rework their entire businesses because the way that they ranked and got reviews is not allowed anymore. So there's this new opportunity for those of us who wanna have real businesses selling real stuff to now get our foot in the door again. It's a really wonderful time to consider building a seven figure business in the way that we talk about on this channel, which is picking four products that sell 25 sales a day at a $30 price point, that's a million dollar business. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a handful of markets that I think are ripe for the picking moving into this next year. So the first market that I wanna share with you is baby and pet traveling. If you are a parent or if you have fur babies and you think those are children and you post on the internet, these are my children, you suck. They are not children. Do you change your own pet's diaper? Do you? Does your pet scream at you in the middle of the night and kick you while it's sleeping and sneezing and puking on itself? If you have kids or if you have pets and you've ever tried to travel with them, you're aware of the hassle that it can be. And I'm still surprised that there are so few companies that try to address these problems. And there's, as, as far as I can find, there are no companies who specifically target that group of people for the purpose of traveling. Now, if you have kids, you've experienced that when you go to the airport or you load up the car, there's a whole bunch of extra stuff that you have to bring that most people don't even think about. This past year, I traveled with my kids back home to Ohio where my family is, and I mean, it, it looked like we were bringing an entire caravan with us. We had car seats and we had carriers and strollers. And, and my stuff is in like this tiny little suitcase, right? It, the rest is just getting the kids onto the plane. So there are products that you can start or that anybody could start that specifically address this problem. And if you do it well, then you get the entire market and people start talking about you. This is things like car seats that are specific to an airplane. They're easier to carry, they fit in the seat, they strap in easier. Car seats are made for cars. But if you've got one that is specifically made for an airplane or one that adjusts so that it's easier to lug onto the plane, there's nobody else that is doing this. Also, strollers for traveling, pet carriers for traveling, pet relief inserts into the carrier for when you're on the airplane. These are all things that pet owners and parents need when they travel and there are no brands that are targeting to solve that specific problem. So if you do that, you put yourself in a position to easily have those four products that sell 25 sales a day at probably much higher than a $30 price point. The reason why this market is kind of ripe for the picking right now is because people are now more mobile because we're working from home more and we're starting to open up our desires for 
and we're starting to travel more. And of course, we'll see how the next year shakes out with everything that's happening in the world, but at least domestically, people are traveling again. And those two things means that two groups of people who don't typically travel as much are starting to get the opportunity to do that. That means pet owners who don't used to not travel as much because they didn't want to leave their pets at home. And then parents who were like, my kids are in school and I work full time. These two groups are now traveling more than ever because there are more mobile options. If you give them the products and services that they need in order to be able to do that, you put yourself in a position to easily have a seven figure business. The second market, how is the, uh, what's the politically correct way for me to say this? Um, supplements and food brands for specific groups of people. It used to be that food brands and supplement brands targeted everybody or they targeted specific pain points. So you had a heart health supplement or you had a blood pressure supplement or you had an immunity supplement. But those kind of mass market, one size fits all brands are not as popular right now. And the reason for that is because people are looking for more brands that look like and talk to who they are. And that means age groups, gender identities, that means racial groups. If you have the demographic of a specific group of people, even if your product is exactly the same as everybody else, you have a better chance of getting the attention of those groups. Even as recently as two years ago, you could have an immunity supplement that was made for everyone and people would buy it. But today, it's more effective to have the immunity supplement for black women over 50. Why? Because their bodies are different and you can come up with the science and the studies that show why these ingredients are better for that group of people. Now we see this for kids, right? You have kids vitamins and kids omega-3s, but we don't do that with other groups of people. So if you're able to target specific groups of individuals and then look at the pain points that they have, you're able to carve out a space in the market that you wouldn't otherwise have. We also sometimes see this with people who are over 55. Joint supplements, heart health, different types of fish oil, but we don't do it as much for the individual demographics. And right now is a really good time to do that because people are starting to identify more with their group, hanging out in certain groups or threads with that group of people, so it makes them easier to target, easier to get with ads, and you have influencers that you can bring on board that look like that demographic, and you can speak exactly to who that target market is. So pick your person, just like I tell everybody and that I say in my book, pick your core person, choose those three to five products that they already buy, and then create the product specifically for them. And that's the foundation for your million dollar business. Next market I wanna share with you, and if, if I could pick only one market, it would be this one. And I'm just gonna call it the be prepared market. Last year, my top pick for 2021 was homesteading. And that means planting raised garden beds and seeds and living off the grid. Well, that is now kind of a subset of a bigger market, which is just the idea of being prepared. A year ago, we were thinking about, hey, are we going to be at home for a long time? Hey, is the world ever going to open up? But this year, it's more like, <laughs> I mean, if you're my friends, it's like, When's the government gonna come and attack us? <laughs> What's the next thing the government, Bill Gates is gonna release on us? Whew. Sorry to any of you who actually believe that. All right, but seriously, people are on edge right now. But even those of us who are not worried that the world is about to end, we're starting to think about like, hey, what is the emergency situation where we can't go to the grocery store? Like, I mean, in Texas, we had this thing called the Texas freeze. It was nuts. It was way worse than the news said it was. I and mean, we couldn't get anywhere. And it was kind of a wake up call for me. Of, like, maybe I should have a generator. Maybe I should have six months of food in my house. Not because I think the world's gonna end, but because we're now starting to see that things can change really quickly. So if you start a brand that targets that group of people, and homesteading is just one arm of it, you're in such a great position to have a wonderfully profitable business right now. So I still am really hot on the homesteading market because there haven't been a lot of brands that have targeted that group of people, but a wider market would be the be prepared 
business. And that is, that's like emergency food in your house. That's generators, that's solar panels, that's, it's chicken coops, it's, it's farming, it's, it's all of the things that someone would buy in the event of an emergency. And during times like this, that market explodes. And then the long-term effects of that are the homesteading market, the gardening market, kind of the offshoots of that. Those markets continue to grow. And so there is both a short-term opportunity, but there are long-term legs to this market. And if you go into this as being the, the, the brand that helps people who are preparing get everything that they need, the customer values on those brands are insane. And they're really healthy profit margins and people want that right now. So there's a wide open opportunity right now for entrepreneurs to get into the preparation market and sell physical stuff that help them be ready in the event of an emergency. The next market that's gonna be really hot in 2022 is RV equipment. So the RV industry has exploded in the last several years and it kind of hit its hockey stick growth in 2020 and it continued in 2021. And there are very few brands that are selling products specific to the RVer. And that is, is things like, can you put a pack and play in an RV? Like, can, is, there, is there baby stuff in an RV? Is there pet stuff in an RV? You could kind of combine this with the first market of travel, pet and parent stuff. Like this would be a great offshoot of that brand. But there's also plenty of meat on this bone to have a seven figure business that is just for the RVers. Chairs, camping equipment, baby stuff, cooking supplies, all of this stuff that you would need to bring into your RV or to pack your RV with as you rent it to other people. In case you didn't know, there's a huge market of people who buy RVs and then rent them out, just like people rent out their homes on Airbnb. There are businesses that do that with their RVs and there's more of them every single year. And what do they do when they buy an RV? They buy a whole bunch of stuff so that their RV is turnkey ready to go for the people who are buying it. So if you know that and you know that RVers buy a whole bunch of stuff in order for their their, their business to be ready to go for their customer, serve that person. And as they buy one RV and then another RV, they're coming back to you to buy all of that stuff. That's a huge purchase order at the beginning of someone's journey. And that's the time that you would get in front of them and then come up with more products, a few products a year that would fit in every RV and make it better for the people who are using the RV or renting the RV. It's a great business to be in right now. And it's an easy seven figure business if you target that group of people. And the last market that's gonna be hot in 2022 is mobility. And mobility, I don't mean traveling and I don't mean being in the RV. I mean mobility, like your body. We're sitting more than ever. We are working from home. We're not even walking around the office anymore. And as a result, we have more back problems, we have more stiffness than we've ever had. And this problem is going to continue to get worse. If you've been an at-home entrepreneur or an internet entrepreneur, you're already aware of these problems. I was an entrepreneur from like 18 on. So uh, I started dealing with these issues a couple years ago. And a lot of my friends who are entrepreneurs in their 20s are now in their 30s and they're starting to experience these issues as well. When you sit at a desk all day, you start to get some issues and we're doing that more and more. So if you're able to optimize the office, optimize the desk, and then come up with products that relieve tension and relieve muscle strain and allow you to restore some of the mobility that you've lost as a result of sitting all day, you're in a great position to win in this market. So some of the products that would exist in that are massagers, foam rollers, exercise balls, things that you put in your desk to kind of optimize the space, standing desks, treadmill desks, stretching equipment, all of these products put into a brand that specifically targets increasing mobility that's been lost as a result of sitting. These All these products exist kind of fragments, but no one's doing it as a brand. And do you see how there's a theme in all of these different markets that the products are not necessarily new? They all sort of exist as fragments in a bunch of other spaces. 
That's why building a brand is so beautiful. A brand is just a group of products around one specific person. And that one specific person has a few specific needs. And if you create or aggregate the products for that specific person, you build a million dollar business. That's what a brand does. And we're kind of moving past that time in which you can just sell a product and do well. You have to have a brand. That's why a business like a supplement brand for a specific demographic, a, a specific race of people would work right now. It'll work beautifully. It'll work for the next 15 years because we now want to buy from brands that represent us. We don't just want nameless products that sit on our shelves. We want products that are made for who we are, for our group of people that stand for the values that we have. And we see that more and more right now, that if a brand doesn't represent the person that you are or the values that you believe in, they don't get that customer base. But if they do, look at Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee just sells coffee. I don't know if their coffee is any different than Starbucks, but it's a completely different person. And both of those brands are billion dollar businesses. You can take a big lesson out of that in knowing that if you target the person and you bring in the products that, that person already wants, you're in a position to build a seven-figure business. If you're ready to start your road to one million, I'd love to help. I help entrepreneurs build seven-figure businesses. And the best way to do that, the best way to start is to go through a training that we have called Million Dollar Brands. It's the first training we put our students through when they join our program called The 1%. The 1% is where we help entrepreneurs become millionaires. How do we do that? We help them build a seven-figure business and we help them invest the profits so that they have a 1% net worth. So when you're ready to start your road to 1 million, come join us inside of that training. Go through that. You'll leave with kind of a blueprint that you need to follow for your person, your brand, your products, and then we can help you build that over the next year. I'm Ryan Moran with capitalism.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you see a trend that I didn't mention in this video, let me know in the comments and we'll hang out and rap about that market's potential in 2022. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.